Okay, so I want to show you three different ways that you can use Miro to strategize specifically for inside your own business. There are so many different ways that you can use Miro or Miro or however you pronounce it. Um, especially with like client work, if you do strategy work with clients, it's great for that too. Um, but I want to show you specifically for working on your own business. So these are three ways that I use Miro for Rebel Office. This very first one, ooh, gotta drag it in Chrome. Okay, so this very first one um, is what I call a client flow. So you want to make sure that you have something to offer, um, whether it's upselling something or free stuff. I'll basic, I'll walk you through it, but in each of these categories. So. What are you doing from an awareness standpoint? Normally this is free stuff or tripwires. Um, and it's really to generate interest and awareness in for your brand. So for example, blogs, podcasts, um, free trainings, um, any sort of tripwire, stuff like that. And then that will move into a low risk commitment. So what is a small, um, very low risk, way that you can start to collect money from your ideal client. Statistically, clients will, um, or customers will um, spend more the next time that they buy from you. So if you start them small, more times than not, they will actually pay more the next time for something at a higher level. So what's that low risk commitment first? And then what's the next level up? Now, you don't necessarily need all of these steps. It's okay if you don't have them. Um, a lot of people just have the elite level support, so that high ticket, um, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one package or a group program, um, but I like to think of it as, okay, what's like, low risk commitment could also be like a tripwire, again, um, something between like $27 and $150, something like that. Um, and then leveling up is normally, um, it could be considered a group program, a higher level course, something like that. And then elite level support is the more hands-on, one-on-one, high ticket item for your business and for your customers and clients. So I love using Miro for this because it's super easy to map out and it can show you what your funnel looks like. So for example, blogs, always a call to action into the collective. Freedom-based business model, again, always a call to action um, within the Trello board for the collective as well as for the crew, okay? Um, so that's just an example. I really like the way that it looks. It's super easy for me to um, share with my team so that they always know what's going on and what our priorities are. Now, another way to do this kind of is basically when you identify what a main goal is in your business. If you're working towards one goal, which I recommend you do, um, then you can start to map out, okay, what's everything that I can do to make that goal happen? So this is more of a mind map. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. Um, but basically it breaks down, okay, what's everything that plays into Rebel Office getting a thousand members inside the collective? Okay, well, there's our content, our organic content, which is our blogs, our swipeable and shareable content, IGTV videos like this one, for example. Um, and then we also have our evergreen content, so our lead magnets, um, free trainings that we have ongoing, and then monthly sprints. So also regular promotion, what's a part of that when we have new resources or just general promotion. Um, so basically it's mapping out everything that funnels into making that goal happen. And what I would suggest you do is first, do this, create little boxes of absolutely everything that you can think of. And then once you have it mapped out, then go through and say, okay, how can I simplify this? How can I make this work and manageable and still achieve my goal? Because simple is normally better because it helps you be more consistent, right? Um, so brain dump everything you can and then clean it up after um, when you ask yourself, okay, how can I make this work for me, my business, etc. And then some of you guys may know that I am obsessed with the business model canvas. And this is just an example, sorry, an example. So I haven't filled it out for rebel office because I have like a giant in-person one on my wall in my office. Um, and I use real sticky notes and everything, but it's super easy in Miro too. Um, and if you aren't familiar with the business model canvas, you do want to um, check out the freedom-based business model 
success series inside the collective because it goes over every single piece of this puzzle. But basically it's super easy because this business model canvas, it's a template. So Miro has a ton of templates actually um, that lets you structure whatever you want to strategize for your business. So you can um, browse through those. But the business model canvas, it's nice because it comes with these sticky notes and you can add a sticky note anytime to anywhere on Miro. Um, but basically you just like um, key value proposition would be delivering high quality resources, right? So a pillar of Rebel Office is making sure that everything we put out there is practical, super easy to use right away. There's not a lot of decoding that needs to happen. It's just there and ready to use. That's one of our value propositions. So it's in here. Um, and really this again is another brainstorming tool where you can start to see all of the moving parts in your business. So you see, okay, these are the value propositions. Um, this is the customer segment or the ideal client that I want to deliver. How do I deliver to them? And what's the relationship I have with them? And then you can move into, okay, now what partnerships can I leverage to make that happen? What are the key activities that need to happen in order for me to deliver that value to my ideal client? Um, and then cost structure or profit mechanism is basically what I call this bottom part. So how are you making money and where's that money going? Um, and really, again, it's just brain dumping onto these little sticky notes, moving them around, tweaking them, um, deleting them, adding them, whatever you need to do until you see your business as a whole. So those are the three ways that I love using Miro. Um, if you have any questions at all about Miro, comment um, below or shoot me a DM. I'm here to answer any questions that you have. Um, and really just hop on, explore all the different templates that you can add to these boards. Um, it's free for up to three boards, I believe. So make sure that you check it out. I absolutely love it. And again, if you have any questions about the business model canvas, which I suggest everyone does, um, to everyone, all my clients I do it with, it's, it's huge and it's super eye-opening and really helps you get clarity. Um, but if you're not a member inside the collective yet, become one. Um, it's only $35 a month um, and no commitment. So it's month to month. You can cancel if you don't like it. But make sure that you check out the um, business model success series because it walks you through all of these categories and will really help you um, figure out all the moving parts and see your business a lot more clearly if you're missing that direction. Okay. Have a great day.